we will review what we mean by the critical congenital heart disease screen so this is a current topic because it has been introduced in all countries in the past few years it's uh, taken as a normal uh, mandatory assessment so this is also called as the oxygen saturation screening you should perform it close to 24 hours not too close to delivery if possible if they are going home early it's better to do it before 24 hours at least it is done and then you may consider repeating it at follow up if needed it should be done by measuring the saturation in the right hand which is a preductal and either of the foot which measures the postductal saturation baby should be awake but should not be struggling and should have regular breathing we should record this for at least 2 minutes and the main idea of doing this is to pick up the critical congenital heart disease like the hypoplastic left heart tricuspid or pulmonary atresia tetralogy of fallow transposition and tapvc the parent should be aware that this doesn't rule out all heart disease it only rules out the critical heart disease which causes a mixture of blood or a drop in oxygen in the baby incidentally we may pick up respiratory conditions which are not very apparent so a baby with a mild aspiration pneumonia or transient tachypnea of newborn may be picked up because you are doing this sometimes it may be an early warning sign of a congenital pneumonia developing as well so uh, this is just uh, the algorithm how to go about it the child is in the nursery at more than 24 hours or if shortly before discharge if the baby is less than 24 hours of age and you conduct the screen for 2 minutes or so the uh, saturation if it's less than 90% in the right hand or in the foot then it's a failed test and it's a positive screen if it is 90 to 95% in the hand or foot or if there is more than three percent difference then you repeat the screen in one hour and if the same findings you can repeat after one more hour if it continues to be abnormal then it's again taken as a positive screen if there is more than or equal to 95 percent in the right hand or foot and the difference is less than or equal to three percent then it's a negative screen or a pass test so uh, to summarize this so oxygen saturation should normally be more than or equal to 95 percent uh, at or around 24 hours of age and it should not be more than three percent pre post difference and that is between the right hand and the left or right foot the saturation of 90 to 94 percent should prompt repeat measurement after at least one hour saturations below 90 percent should prompt a pediatric assessment and admission and further investigation including echocardiography so a senior pediatrician should review the baby and refer to cardiologist if there is a serious concern of a cyanotic heart disease because the treatment should be immediate in such cases which may include referral to a higher center.